So one of the easiest ways to make a dramatic difference in your truck is by putting on a roll pan taking your bumper completely off and having the smooth look. Today, I'm at Brothers Tech Center. I'm going to show you two different ways to install this. One, where if everything's already painted, or two, if you're going to go ahead and weld it in. So you stay tuned and check it out. You hear? Now this truck was in a little bit of an accident. The bumper got hit and it slammed into the rear. It bent this up and we went ahead and cut this out and replaced it. If you go to our YouTube channel and subscribe, it'll make finding this video repair a lot easier. But that brings to mind that your truck could have easily been in an accident. Somebody might have done some bogus repairs. So you can't just take your uh, roll pan and put it up here and just weld it onto the sides or bolt it on and just assume everything's going to be okay. If one side's off a little bit and you get this um, uneven right here, it is not going to look right. So before you take off your tailgate, make sure you put your roll pan up here. Get it up there as nice and perfect as possible and make sure your lines right here are good. I verified that we're going to be nice and even on the bottom so I can take my tailgate off. Now it is nice if you have somebody help you do this. It's not absolutely necessary though. Here's how you're going to dick it off. These arms right here, you're going to take your tailgate and you're going to bring it up about, about right like that and just simply pull that off. Somebody on the other side will do the same thing. You fold your arm back. It's usually a good idea to put some tape on that if everything's painted because sometimes it will fall down and chip things. Then you're going to go ahead and take your tailgate and bring it up to about three quarters right there. And then you can just pull this off. And you'll notice that right here, it's got this little slot. And you'll notice that this pivot point right here is more of a cam kind of a slot thing. So those just line up right like that. And come on and off easy. That side will just pull right out like that. So like I said, there's two different ways you can do this. You can do it if the truck's all painted and then paint the uh, roll pan and install. Or if you're going to be doing a complete restoration off the truck and you're going to be painting everything, I'll show you how to weld it in. Now the two are relatively similar in the beginning stages here, but there's a few little differences. So if you open up your box, you'll find this taped inside. It's got all the little screws in it. And it's got these little brackets right here. I want you to find these little brackets and a couple of screws. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these and they are going to install right here. Now, a lot of times there's going to be a ton of crud up in here, people shooting, undercoating and all kinds of stuff. So make sure you get this all cleaned out so that this piece will fit flush in here. Now, how we're going to get this um, positioned correctly, I want you to get a 1 8 inch drill bit, magic marker, punch if you got it, Phillips head screwdriver, and some tape. So we're going to pretend like this has got a nice paint job on it and uh, we're going to tape this up so that when we're putting our roll pan up here that it is not uh, scratching anything. It's real easy to lose uh, your balance and uh, start carving into nice paint. So probably get relatively generous on the paint in case you lose your balance or anything. So we're covered up here pretty nice. It's going to sit in there just like that. And I want this down pretty far to the end. We don't want to stick it here or anything like that. We want to have, uh, we got good support at the top, so we just want to get good support at the bottom. I'll set this down here. I'll get a good feel for where I want it, where it's going to be in the middle and such. I'll transfer this to the bottom. I'll mark it. I'll punch it. And then I'll drill the, the hole out. So again, I'm using an eighth inch drill bit. And... Uh, what you're going to do when you're doing this is you just want to uh, make sure that you're using your hands as a buffer. Another thing you can do too is take tape and wrap it around the base of the drill bit. We want to make sure that when we get this hole drilled, we don't punch all the way through. So we've got our drill there. Now we take our little bracket here. And we screw it on in. So that's going to go like that. As 
So now when I put my roll pan up here, I'll have support on the bottom helping me line everything up. Let me get the other side done, I'll be right back. Now if you're painting your roll pan and it's going to be going on a truck that's already painted, you're going to have to go through these steps before you paint your roll pan, not after. An eighth of an inch after it's already painted might as well be a mile. So you have to um, take in consideration any possible idiosyncrasies that might be in the truck. Maybe uh, somebody's done a repair and they did it wrong. Maybe there's just a ton of uh, paint built up here on the side. You can't paint your roll pan and then put it up to find that out. So we're going to do a trial fit first and uh, correct anything that might be a problem for us. We've got our little brace is in right here, the little bracket, and I've got these clamps right here so that when I put on my roll pan, I'll be able to clamp this on and it'll hold it firm on the bottom and that'll make it easier to line it up on the top. Another thing that I like to do on these is that you'll notice on this edge right here, it's kind of rolled over, uh, but on the edge of this, it's a really sharp point. And when you have a sharp point, like a 90 degree angle there, paint doesn't really like to stick to there, plus it wouldn't aesthetically match up with the roll. So what you want to do on this edge before you paint it is you're just going to just lightly grind a little bit of a rounded edge on there. Don't get too aggressive. And um, then what I'm going to do here now is put this up for our trial fit before we paint. So I'll just take a little bit of playing around. Make sure you're good on both sides. You can see we're a little off. Got it clamped at the bottom on both sides. I've got everything lined up nice and neat. So now I can go ahead and start putting my screws in the top here. Again, what we're going to be doing is one at a time. If you were to mark all of these and drill all of these and it shifted around on you, then you're going to get it off. So you'll get one, you'll make sure it's secure, and that'll make sure that it's secure for your next one, your next one, and your next one. All right, so now I gotta drill the little hole here for the brace in the bottom. And uh, since the brace is on top, it's difficult to get the drill bit and get it exactly in the right spot. So what we're gonna do is simply take this clamp off and we're gonna unscrew the um, little bracket from the inside and we're gonna put it on the outside just like this. And now I'm gonna be able to line up my hole perfectly here and then I can drill that out and now I know that when I flip this up on top my holes will line up and I won't get this out of position. So now you know that by doing your trial fit before you painted it everything's going to fit perfectly. I'll take it apart, I'll prep this all up, I'll paint it and I'll put it on exactly the same way putting tape back on to make sure that nothing gets scratched. Now if I'm going to weld this on, your steps are basically going to be about the same. You still want to do a trial fit. You just don't have to bother with tape or anything like that. But there's going to be a couple of extra steps that I'm going to show you in just a minute as soon as I get this back off. Okay, so now I'll show you how to weld it on. And really this is the way that I prefer to do it for a couple of different reasons. One, we're putting this roll pan on so that we get a smooth look. So I don't want any lines right here. I want that smooth too. The other reason that I like to do it is that even though this is an extremely high quality piece of um, metal, it's really tough, it's really thick, it's really high quality, and it fits up on this edge just perfect. But there is a lot of times where you'll have slight idiosyncrasies on this. Maybe this will protrude a little bit more out or what have you from dings or manufacturing in the past, what have you. So I like to just get rid of all of that and it'll be perfectly smooth all the way across the board. But when you weld something on, you have to make sure that you have clean metal. So we're going to be uh, taking off any of this old paint, dirt and everything like that from the outside and on the inside and we'll be doing it on our roll 
bowl pan too. You'll notice that it kind of has this uh, sheen on it here and we're going to take that off so that we get a good proper weld. Now all your original um, steps are going to be exactly the same with putting your brackets on etc etc getting your holes drilled and things like that but I'll show you how I finish it off a little bit nicer and neater. Now when I'm welding these on, um, I actually don't use this little bracket right here and the reason being is that I use a um, panel clamp. Okay. Now if you've been watching my videos, which I'm sure you have, you've seen me talk about these before. It's just this little square piece, it goes right through the square hole there. You put it up on your um, panel and then you put your other panel on and you tighten it down. Now this right here has got this little edge that rolls over so you'll have to grind that edge off a little bit. You, maybe you do two or three spots if this was uneven from an accident or whatever um, and uh, you can put a couple of extras on there. This is so nice I don't really have to do that but this is a nice way to go so that you don't have to drill the holes in the bottom. Alright, so I'm just double checking with a straight edge make sure I'm getting it as clean as I can get it. Now you'll notice you got a little bit of a gap right here and you might think to yourself a lot of times that when you're welding you want your metal to fit as close as possible because it'll be a tight weld. Problem with that is that if it is that close together and you weld and the weld doesn't permeate all the way through, when you grind off that top of that weld it might break. So you need a little bit of a gap for that weld to be in there. When you grind off the top you still got some weld holding your metal together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it is absolutely where I want it and then I'll just get a little tack weld on it. I don't want to weld too much because heat distorts the metal, warps it, causes me more problems. And then um, down here at the bottom I can see that my curvature is just a hair off, like an eighth of an inch or something. But we're going to take care of that at the same time. How we're going to do that is that these edges here that they uh, line up perfectly, we'll get those uh, tack welded in and we'll have it nice and solid, maybe a second round of tack welds and then after after all the areas that are nice and straight are firm, then I can go ahead and take my roll pan, bring it back just a little bit, get a couple of tack welds in, get it in the exact spot that I want it, and then get the tack welds in. After I've got all my tack welds on, then I can finish off my welding, but that's a little bit specific too, and I'll show you that in just a bit. So once you get tack welds on here, you're going to want to grind them down and then let it cool down and then get some more tack welds on. If you just keep welding this, then uh, you're more than likely going to distort the metal, get it all warped up. And the other bad thing is too, is that if you have this all welded up, now you've got a lot of grinding to do. So when you uh, grind this down, it saves you time, it doesn't build up heat, and then it also cleans off any... Um, a slag that might be on there and give you a better weld. When you're going to be working with something like this edge right here, I got this perfect. Now I've got to tuck this up just a hair so I make sure that this is welded a little bit more and a little bit more firm so that when I tuck this up it doesn't roll anything up into a position that I don't like. So always get everything that is nice and uh, straight first and then you can work any all your idiosyncrasies. So you can see this just looks really nice smoothed out. It's just too good a way to do it. I do want to show you this right here though. You see how this still has like a harsh edge here? Now sometimes when you're doing these welds they'll, they'll shrink in and you'll think to yourself, oh that's smooth and I grinded it down enough, that harsh edge isn't going to come back to haunt me. I'm going to shoot a fat coat of primer on here, I'm going to put some filler on here, but don't do anything like that. Don't leave any harsh edges underneath there because it might phantom up on you later if this was real close to the surface, so to speak, when you sanded it down. After it dries and it shrinks you might get a small anomaly right there that you don't want. So we're going to grind that all the way down. Now I'm going to address these uh, right here. I don't want to leave these screws in here if I'm going to be welding it up. So I'll simply take that screw out there and I'll do a rosette weld. Let me show you what that looks like. Well, I'm going to get a drill bit that's just slightly larger than that hole and then I'm going to drill through the first piece of metal and about halfway into the second piece of metal. Now sometimes it's hard to stop and you might punch all the way through. It's not a big deal. You're going to weld it up anyway so it's not a biggie. Now when I weld up that little hole right there, what I'm doing is 
we've got our hole and we've got our second piece of metal here and so, so what will happen sometimes is you weld up that hole all you did was weld up the hole and you didn't get any connection to the second piece of metal so when I'm doing this I'm trying to hit that second piece of metal first get a little weld BB on there and then I'll simply uh, kind of spiral out and it'll make a nice little weld something like this And that's just beautiful. Now, probably should have grind down a, uh, a little bit of the sheen off of this, give me a little bit better weld, but you see, we wouldn't have a problem. Now, if you want to take this one step further, this seam right here, um, you just weld that on up and grind that on down too. It's going to take you some time. Uh, again, you keep in mind heat and things like that, so don't try to just weld it all at one time. You're going to get your tack welds, you're going to weld it, grind it, weld it, grind it, weld it, grind it, keep your heat down, take your time. So when I do a job like this, I like to take a look at it and see if there's any way that I could have improved it. And I did notice that on this particular truck right here, that if I was to try to take this bolt off on the lower portion of my hinge pivot right here, it would be a little bit problematic. So um, I would probably grind this just a little bit more clearance. I could still do it with a little Dremel tool or something, so it's not that big of a deal, but you want to keep an eye on that on yours. Now, it took me about an hour to uh, trial fit it up here. If I was going to be painting it if I'm going to weld it it'll probably take you about another hour to weld it on up but you can see that it really doesn't take that much time or trouble to give your truck a really nice custom look my name is David Welch I'm at Brothers Tech Center every single week showing you cool stuff like this so what you want to do is subscribe to the channel because next week I'm coming out with another video you're going to want to see that and you're going to want to see every single one I do after that too we'll see you all then